Donnie, you, you know, you obviously have a long resume of, you know, and, and had a great coaching career, um, but, and you could have easily rode off in, into the sunset after your time in Spokane, but what, what made you want to come to Utah for two seasons? Um, it, it, it's the only place I would have come back to. I've always enjoyed my time here. Uh, the people were outstanding. Um, you know, we won when we were here, you know, so we had a great time, final fours, championships. And I've always had a special place in my heart, you know, for Salt Lake City and the people of Salt Lake City. All right, moving along to Josh Newman. Donnie, congrats on the career. Um, you know, as you as you kind of close things up here, I, I'm just curious. You know, does does something stand out to you in terms of memories, whether it be from you know here at Utah or your time at Gonzaga? You know, what stands out to you at, as part of your career? Uh, the people I've met along the way, coaches, um, players, especially, um, you know, administrators. I mean, I've been in, I've been very fortunate to have been here at Utah for 13 years, uh, UCLA, Gonzaga, my own program at Cal State Fullerton, and as an assistant at Cal State Fullerton. And uh, I never, I, one thing I tried to, to do is never have a bad day. And I, like I said, I've been associated with some great coaches, Hall of Fame coaches, um, and I, and I've had the best seat in the house for the last 43 years. So you can't beat that. And, um, and I've been very blessed in my career and, you know, and, you know, the people I've met along the way. All right, Jay, we can go ahead with you. Yeah, Donnie, what's, uh, what's next for you? What are you riding off into the sunset to do? Uh, for the first six months, nothing. <laughs> I'm, not gonna, I'm just going to, uh, you know, uh, take it easy, try to get a, try to formulate a routine in my head, you know, what I'm going to do, you know, obviously the number one thing is to wake up in the morning and from there, everything will be uh, okay. But uh, I, I like photography. I want to definitely get involved with that. And uh, the, my kids are, you know, uh, you know, scattered around. So I definitely want to go see them and be involved with them a lot more. And uh, just, uh, just try to stay as healthy as I can. And, um, you know, and um, just try to just enjoy the, you know, the, the rest of my time. All right, moving back to Josh Newman. Donnie, I'm working on a story, and given that you've spent a lot of your time in the mountain time zone and, and, and the Pacific time zone, I would love for you to weigh in. Um, it's been 24 years since a mountain or Western-based team won the national title. Um, why do you think it's been so tough for teams out here to finally break through again and win the whole thing? Uh, I, I, I'm not sure, you know, why that, you know, it, and there's no formula on it. This is, I guess, I think the last team, I guess, would be UCLA, correct? Uh, Arizona 97. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So It's been uh, a while. Yeah. And, and like, you know, it, it's hard to pinpoint one. Obviously, the people that have won definitely deserved it. You know, the Villanovas, the Carolinas, the Kentuckys. So they've deserved it. They've had, you know, great teams, great players. But uh, I, I think... Um, you know, this year might be a, a little different, you know, with the teams, you know, playing out West with uh, Gonzaga doing what they do. They can definitely, you know, break that string. Uh, but, um, you know, you guys give, give kudos to the guys that uh, that have won it. And it just so happened to be, uh, you know, uh, you know, East Coast. Like when John Wooden was going, just think, you know, it was like, I think, what, 10 straight? Yep. Yeah. So, you yep. know, at one time they, they were saying just the opposite. So, but, um, but like I said, that's just college basketball, you know, with the, rule changes and, you know, uh, where kids can, you know, with TV, you know, now a kid can play at home, kid can play, you know, cross country still, you know, see every game at home. So a lot of that stuff has been a, a big factor too.